Hey y'all, welcome to Friday's Kitchen. Welcome back if you have been here before. In today's video, we are making a lime layered cake using a box cake hack. If you guys are interested in seeing how I made it, stay tuned. Also, while you're here, I ask that you please take a moment, look down below, press that subscribe button, join our family, and come back for some more recipes. Go ahead and get started the full recipe will be down below in the description box of this video we are going to do a box cake hack for this recipe but to start in the bowl i have three-fourths cups of all-purpose flour as well as three-fourths cups of granulated sugar to this i'm going to add a 15.25 ounce box of duncan hines classic white cake mix as well as a 3.4 ounce box of Jell-O brand vanilla pudding. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these contents in the bowl and then we're gonna take a whisk and mix until well combined. So now that we have all the dry ingredients well combined, I'm gonna go in with the wet ingredients. I'm gonna start by adding four eggs. We have one cup of milk at room temperature, one half cup of sour cream, and one stick of melted butter. Now I'm going to mix until everything is well combined. Now we're gonna go in with one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And finally, we're gonna add the zest of two limes. You could use extract if you like. I prefer to use zest when making lemon and lime cakes, but it is completely up to you. All right, y'all, and just like that, our cake batter is done. We will be baking this in eight inch cake pan, so let me grab those and I'll be right back. I'm going to tap against the counter to help release any air that may be trapped inside. So our oven has been preheated to 350 degrees. I'm not quite sure how long these will take to bake just yet, but as always, I'll let you guys know exactly how long it takes in my oven when I remove them. So I'll see you guys in just a few. Here are the cakes after 35 minutes in the oven. I'm going to let them hang out in the pans for about 10 minutes and then I'll flip them out onto a cake rack to completely cool. Get started on the lime curd. In the bowl, I have three eggs. I'm going to go ahead and whisk these together. To this, I'm going to add three fourths cups of granulated sugar. And one fourth cup of lime juice. 
once I have this well combined, I'm gonna place on the stove as a double boiler. And then that is where we're going to cook this mixture. So let me move this over to the stove and we'll be right back. Now we have this on the stove, on the heat, I'm just going to constantly stir. Once our mixture is heated through, we're gonna go in with some sea salt and some butter. So our mixture is starting to heat up, so I'm gonna go in with a pinch of pink Himalayan sea salt. We're gonna mix this in well, and then we're gonna add five tablespoons of unsalted butter, one tablespoon at a time. It's already at room temperature, so I'm just gonna let it hang out until it melts, and then we'll go in with the next tablespoon of butter. So as you can see, the mixture has thickened and you can see how it sticks to the spoon when I stir it. I'm going to go ahead, turn the heat off, add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then I'm going to place this in a mason jar, wait for it to come to room temperature, and then place it in the refrigerator. on the cream cheese icing. In the bowl, I have one stick of unsalted butter at room temperature, two eight ounce packages of cream cheese at room temperature, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. I'm gonna mix until well combined, and then I'm gonna add 32 ounces of powdered sugar. Alright, so our icing is done. I'm going to scrape down the sides and bottom of the bowl really quickly just to make sure everything gets well combined. Turn the mixer back on for about another minute and then it'll be all done. So now for the fun part, we get to decorate the cake. Here we have the cake board. I'm going to start by putting a dollop of icing in the middle just to help prevent the cake from sliding all around. And as you can see, I have leveled it. So I have cut the dome off the top. And so now we're going to go ahead and place a layer of cream cheese icing. I did consider putting some curd in the center, but I'm just going to add it to the top of the cake. Because the lime flavor is going to come through pretty strong through the zest that we actually included in the cake batter. And while it is a lime cake, I don't want it to be overwhelmingly lime, so. Here we have our second cake. I'm gonna place it upside down so we can have some nice clean edges.
So before I move on to the top of the cake, I do have these graham cracker crumbs that I'm just gonna place at the base of this cake. And I will probably also sprinkle a little on top once I pipe the rosettes on top of the cake. And here I have some in my hands. I'm just gonna go through and gently press against the base of the cake. And it's just sticking to the icing. All right, so now I'm going to place some icing in a piping bag and then I'm going to pipe some rosettes on top of the cake. So now I'm going to sprinkle some of the graham cracker crust on top of the rosettes. Here we have the lime curd. I am just gonna place some in the center of the cake. So finally, to finish the cake off, I'm going to place lime slices in between each of the rosettes. Alright guys, so let me clean up my mess really quickly, then I'll bring you guys in for a closer shot, and then we'll cut the cake so you can see what the inside looks like. We've made it to the end of the video. Here we have the finished product, our lime layered cake that we made using a box cake mix. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions about anything I've done, leave them down below in the comment section. Y'all, this cake is so good. <laughs> it is so good. It is super moist. I think my favorite part is the tartness that comes from the curd that is on top of the cake. If you're a fan of lime, I have no doubt at all that you would enjoy this cake. So by all means, do give it a try. While you guys are here, I ask that you please take a moment, look down below, press that subscribe button, join our family, come back for some more recipes. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button before you leave and leave me a comment down below in the comment section. I would love to interact with you guys. As always, I thank you so, so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.